He thinks it's his job to make sure that you know if you don't follow his brand of tolerance that you shouldn't have a seat at the table of Western civilization. That your daughter is intolerant because she doesn't want to see someone's pecker right at face level. <laughs> so for people who, do, obviously you've been we following this, but we didn't have time to get into this because Epstein happened earlier in the week. Uh, Chris Cuomo was recently pro, uh, approached at restaurant, the Fredo thing. Let me refresh your memory. Oh, punk ass from the right call me Fredo. They Brother, use it as an Italian aspersion. Any of you Italian? I'm a little you Italian? I got a little it's a little little. insult to your people. Don't you love how he it's turns up the Goomba? Yeah. Yeah. It's an it's insult to your people, hey! Forget about it! Mama's a pizza pie! He's a big tough guy. La fangul! He's a tough guy. It's like I call you punk you like that? That's the moment where he was really trying to perpetuate the negative Italian stereotype and went too far and you can see him look at the camera like I'm gonna throw you down the stairs and oh crap I'm just one step shy of saying I'm gonna crowbar your kneecaps <laughs> and he's sitting there just like Gosh, what a punk he is a, yeah well as he says punk yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. I also find it funny when he asks that rhetorical question. Like, why yeah. would you do that when you're trying to fight somebody? Like, either, this, I'm a believer in just either fights. If you're going to or fight, don't. E strike or <laughs> don't. But don't ask rhetorical questions. What if I called you punk bitch, huh? How do you feel? Just punch him. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Like, that's the worst yeah. thing. Even if you say, just say punk bitch and boom, throw, you know, throw one. Throw yeah. your overhand. I don't care. Just throw a Russian it. casting punch for all. But you're asking, are you expecting an actual answer? <laughs> How about I throw you down the flight of stairs? Yeah, Answer me! I wouldn't like people. And don't. I think the guy who called him Fredo, if he was, in fact, and we're hearing reports that maybe he wasn't with his wife and kid. I, listen, I think there's a ceasefire when you're out in public and you yeah. shouldn't be berating somebody. I think the guy who did it was a dick and yeah, trying to set him cool. up. That being said, he, of course, Chris Cuomo, should be able to allow cooler heads to prevail. So uh, that's why it's time for this month's installment of What a Piece of <laughs> So today, um, <laughs> Top five reasons <laughs> half, Asian Bill, uh, half Asian lawyer Bill Richmond's monitor is broken. So he's leaning oh, over no. looking yeah, at the big monitor. Yeah, I gotta look all the way over the side. Uh, hey, buddy, don't we, worry. We're supposed to do five, but we actually had seven. And we oh. said, well, and then we just rounded it down to six. I don't know why. So, uh, oh, number of man. Number six. This is, it. We, we, we have video, uh, videographic evidence for all this. Chris Cuomo said that Nathan Phillips, remember the, uh, the meth quest guy? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he actually said on air that Nathan Phillips wanted to diffuse the situation by mm -hmm. banging the drum in the Covington kid's face. What? And the kid made the wrong decision by standing and smiling. So this is how he frames no. it in. And he wants you to think that, my God, he's an actual journalist. Nathan Phillips apparently wanted to diffuse the tension, and he walked up to do exactly that. And surely the kid, <laughs> Nick Sandman, he doesn't seem to be afraid, but he did make a choice, and that was to make it into a standoff. That was not a good choice. What? Was it legal? Sure. That's not my test. It and it shouldn't be the test. <laughs> <laughs> that kid showed great what persistence. I know, but Is it come legal? On. Sure. But that's not my test. <laughs> but don't take you know me. I don't have to tell you twice. He stood there. No, you know what? You need to tell us many times. What yeah. is your test, Chris Cuomo? Well, if you need to ask, you're not ready. You're not yet ready to hear. What? Well, what are you, some <laughs> fake Goomba, Mr. Miyagi, you <laughs> piece of <laughs> shit? Wax on. That's awesome. By the way, it's not only legal, he was in the right. Yes. The guy effectively assaulted yeah. him. And this is what's so important to me is, is Chris Cuomo really does, if you, if you see him on Twitter, he claims to be a journalist. He doesn't, he, he acts face. as though there is no kind of bias. <laughs> this is what's insane to me. I don't have a problem if you're right or if you're left. Just yeah. don't lie Ad to me. Admit yeah. it. Own it. He All right. It. Let's go to reason number five. Uh, I think we have a video of this one where he claimed that America first and the term nationalist, these terms are actually mm -hmm. phrases equivalent to, not they're bad, not they might be dog no. whistles, yeah. concentration camps. <laughs> one point of pushback before I get to you, Angela. You did not have similar problems with the phrase America first, which is equally stained, <laughs> or the word stained? nationalist, no. which is equally stained. No, yes, as a matter <laughs> of fact, <laughs> I totally disagree that it's a stained word. As a matter of fact, you I may, think it's a but problem you're wrong. Word. American now, <laughs> uh, well, no, I'm not wrong. You, you don't get to define what yes, nationalism means I for do. me. I love it. Wow. wow. Oh. CNN yeah. just watches this. Wow. Their, 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 their credibility hangs in the balance from, a, from an anchor who can be fooled by basic opposite day reverse psychology. <laughs> I mean, no, 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 yes, yes, he's, no, yes. I'm gonna go with yes. Dead gummit. We'll have it season four. What a piece of shit. <laughs> Not only does he say that it's equivalent to concentration camps, when a guy responds perfectly reasonably, yeah. he's like, no, not at all. Yes, at all. Yes, all. <laughs> Reason Zucker. number four. I, you know, I should set this up. I just think we'll let the clip do the talking. Yeah. He actually 
thinks that, remember how Donald Trump got all kinds of flack for saying, you know, I'm not talking about the white supremacists or the white nationalists, they should absolutely be condemned totally. But then he talked about the people who they're yeah, pressing, 12 seconds people later. on both sides. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, if you watch more of the context, and we can't provide you with all the context because we don't have that much time, uh, <laughs> let's just show the clip. Chris Cuomo, he, I mean, he thinks Antifa is, is, is right. Talk about Antifa, I've watched them in the streets protesting in different situations, okay? <laughs> there are certainly aspects of them that are true to a cause. That is a good cause. They huh? want social justice. They want whatever they want in that context. <laughs> Do what? What, what context? <laughs> what? They want whatever they want in what, that context. And, and well, what, what context? What? Social justice. Well, what does that even mean? Yes. Antifa. <laughs> yes, yes, no. Yes. Change what? at the end of a bat. By the way, did you see, he also <laughs> tweeted out a meme suggesting that D-Day soldiers and Antifa were one and the same. Wow. No. Dude. Let's not forget. Oh, Dude. my God. <laughs> not cool, bro. Let's what not forget. Hell? Okay? If you forget, it's an insult to your people. I'll wreck you. <laughs> By the way, while we're mocking other people who claim to be journalists, I'm not one. So hit the notification <laughs> bell if you're subscribed, because apparently that doesn't mean a whole lot. Join MugClub, mm. ladderspatter.com slash MugClub. You get all kinds of additional content, including more content with my half Asian lawyer, Bill Richmond. Mm, yeah. uh, subscribe on iTunes and Crowder Bits on YouTube, where Ooh, we upload other clips. Yeah. Uh, here's another another example. Um, Cuomo, actually. We don't have the clip. It's a clip, and then his yeah. Twitter. He mocked, oh. effectively, a rape victim yes. for uh, who had a gun to defend herself and her children. She cut an ad for the NRA. Here you go. I knew I was going to die, and there was nothing I could do. Now I'm a mother of two, and if that predator or anyone else tries to harm me or my family, they have to come through my firearm first. And then Chris nothing. Cuomo responded with, uh, only in America, responding to that video. Yes. Yes. Isn't Thank that a good God. thing? Correct. As we opposed to the UK, <laughs> what, she should be throwing chicken strips because she can't even have a yeah. butter knife? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. She got raped. Uh, she can defend herself now. Why is this a bad thing? When we talk yes. about, you know, you talk about social justice, you talk about equality, you just talked about it in the Antifa clip, you know, they punch random passers-by at will yeah. in the face. Yeah. How about equality for women being able to protect themselves? Yes. The only thing that can allow a woman to be stronger than a man there you go. is a gun. Yeah. But none of this is based on, nothing Cuomo says is ever based on verifiable evidence or truth. From Russia to the idea that women shouldn't be able to have a gun. And this is yes. one of those tropes they try out, like, you're actually, uh, you're actually worse off just for having a gun in the no, house. No, you're not. No, that is not true at <laughs> no, all. It no. is immediately debunked by simply looking at the defensive uses of firearms in the country every year. It's that it simple. Yeah. This was one that's pretty, I mean, this is particularly <laughs> for even in the realm of peace yeah. segments. At least Chris Cuomo, he's got the, he's, you know, he's got, he's not as, he's not as offensively unattractive as Brian Stelter. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Like, I get but. the Chris Cuomo, the nepotism thing, yeah. but Brian Stelter, I, I mean, is, can someone explain it to me in the yeah. comment section? <laughs> I'm also still not convinced that he's straight. Um, so anyway, Cuomo Debatable. did say, this was something else, he said that the offering thoughts and prayers was the equivalent to mocking mass Jeez. shooting victims. The world? And then it gets even, if you think, well, that's pretty rough for a journalist, <laughs> right. it gets even worse. Here you go. The only consensus there is, is in a canard, and here it is. Canard? First, You're I would canard. like to offer my thoughts and prayers. Because that's what you do when you offer thoughts and prayers. Seriously? You mock those who lost loved ones. What would it take? How about a stadium full of children of the most influential people in our society, all holding puppies? What if they were all shot and killed? Would we act? Oh, don't be ridiculous to suggest something like, is it? Is it ridiculous? Oh my gosh. No. No, wait, yes, yes, it yes. is ridiculous. <laughs> yes, it is. Wait. Wow. Sorry, Son Cuomo. Uh, you made it too easy for me. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> How in the world does he get away with mocking It's equivalent Christians to mocking for, people. for thoughts and prayers. Yeah. As opposed to what you're going to do, Chris Cuomo? What, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Well, I'll uh, support uh, the assault weapon ban. Oh, so you'll send your thoughts to your representatives yeah. to support a piece of legislation that makes a gun like this illegal and legal. Legal, illegal. Legal, <laughs> illegal. Everything else is the oh, same. Let's just call so it in other words, is. someone's prayers to the higher power that most people on planet Earth believe in right. is more silly than you hoping, wishing, and loving, and hoping, and being a piece of <laughs> in your oh, mind, wow. hoping that uh, someone signs a bill that won't be effective yeah, at all. And absolutely. by the way, when he talks about people in a stadium with puppies and we shot, I don't know, talk about a non sequitur, but yeah. this is not in the mind of a crazy piece of <laughs> but he says, imagine the most influential people in the world. Yeah. Well, hold on. That's not, yeah. I mean, that's not the crux of this no. story here, this hypothetical. Right. It's shooting the puppies. I don't care if Podesta's holding them. And this is what's so dangerous. You can see him talking about the Australian buyback. And he yeah. not, doesn't fill his audience in on the fact that it's mandatory. That right. is an outright gun ban. And the real danger here is 
you know, everyone, Rachel Maddow, people say, well, why don't you take, I don't have a problem with Rachel Maddow because people know where, where she lines up. Mm-hmm. Some people, namely when we're talking about CNN, people in airports who've apparently had their oh, eyes gosh. duct taped open because that's the viewership we're talking about here. <laughs> yep. They don't necessarily know that yeah. Cuomo is biased, right? So this guy goes out there and claims yeah. to be an actual journalist and everything that we've just heard is a narrative that he's allowed to frame. That he goes out there and he decides what information, or at least at one point, right? And that's why these people, CNN, NBC, Universal, Viacom, all these companies want to make sure their show like this doesn't exist because at one point in time, all you had was Chris Cuomo. Yeah. You think Walter Cronkite was any better? He was better at disguising it a little bit. Yeah. But that's what he's doing here. And and case in point, he wants to determine how you view the news. And not only how you view it, but ultimately what kind of speech is permissible. Which brings me to, we don't have a video clip, but I think this is the worst thing that Cuomo's ever done. And again, this goes to him trying to manipulate and control news. And I'm not talking about some some government government form of my control. I got heart. I got blood <laughs> pumping through my heart. I'm a human. I'm just saying this is a form <laughs> of propaganda. Oh, Alex Jones. Yeah. By the way, a whole exclusive Alex Jones interview available at Mug Club Ooh, is like yeah. a whole hour. It's great. Um, because he wanted to reframe language here in yeah. saying that 12-year-old girls who don't want to see penises in the locker room are bigots. Here you go. Look at that. Oh, I wonder if she wow, has a problem wow. of her overprotective and intolerant dad. Teach tolerance. So there no. you go, because this is Chris no. Cuomo, right? And his job, he thinks <laughs> no. that every, he, he thinks it's his job to make sure that you know, if you don't follow his brand of tolerance, that you shouldn't have a seat at the table of Western civilization. That your daughter is intolerant because she doesn't want to see someone's pecker right at face level yeah, with right. her permeable contacts right at the. I mean, it's just it's it's <laughs> remarkable to me. <laughs> hey there, YouTube viewers, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell if you're already subscribed to this channel, because that lets you know when new videos come out and they don't show up on the YouTube. YouTube search feed. Also, there are videos playing in boxes here. Click one of those. Just of all the things that I just mentioned, all you have to do is one. And if you don't, I will run for the United States presidency under the one 1,064th percent Cherokee party. I have yet to pick my VP.